Right, Jack, what's questions from the fans? Um, first one, who's the best player you've played with? Um, best player I've played with at Cheltenham or just in, your career. in my career? Yeah. Um, I'll probably say best one I've played with and learnt from would be Curtis Davis at Birmingham. He's um, he's actually become a good friend and I speak to him quite a lot, um, but he's he's always helped me with obviously being in the same position as I have. He's always given me advice and he's he's always there to, to, to help me out. So yeah, I'd say Curtis Davis. Okay, who do you think is the best technical player at Charlton Town? Um, I'd say probably Rafa, who's just come in, but you can see sort of in training his, his techniques there for for everyone to see. Um, and it's no surprise that he's, he's played where he has. So. Yeah. Okay, who's the best dressed player in the squad? Best dressed? I know the boys wouldn't definitely wouldn't say Andy. They give him some stick about his gear. Um, I don't know really. We haven't really had because we've only sort of really seen each other in terms of like in terms of training day to day. Um, so I'd say we'd have to wait and see sort of when we do the Christmas the Christmas do. I'll be able to tell you who it will be then. <laughs> okay. Uh, what are your aims for the season, both for the team and for yourself? I think for the team, um, I think we we've, we've got to look at promotion, whether that be automatic or playoff. I think that's that's ultimately where we've where we want to be. That's where the club's been for obviously not last season, but a couple of seasons before. So we want to get back to back to that. And for myself, I just want to play as many games as as possible and sort of really stake a claim to to be playing every week um, and then ultimately earn a contract for next season. Okay. Um, somebody's asked what what tempted you back to Cheltenham in the summer. Um, well, I knew obviously all of the I knew everything about the club from when I came on loan. So that was. That was a, a massive part of it, um, and obviously with with the manager showing interest, it was a place that I already knew, and it just seemed right to come back to to sort of start, like I said, try and kickstart my career in terms of playing games. And yeah, okay. Um, which player do you look up to most in the Cheltenham squad? Um, I'd say Matty Taylor, probably. Um, again, being in the same position, uh, we always do little bits extras after training, and it's. I always list, always go and talk to him and listen to him for advice. It's the same with Stevie, but I'd, I'd say Matty because we we probably do more more stuff together. So, okay. um, you have better passing ability than many players at this level. Do you see yourself playing in uh, as a defensive midfielder at this level? Because you have done that before in, in your career, haven't you? Yeah, no, it's 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 not um, it's not something that I've that I've that I've never done. So um, if the manager wants me to play there, I'd be more than happy to play there. I think I've worked worked hard in terms of trying to trying to get my passing technique and everything to where it is so no I'd be I'd be happy to play there yeah yeah okay uh, somebody just asked are you enjoying your football yeah no love it um it's a dream job isn't it in think of about the people who who want to play football I'm one of the lucky ones who's who's able to do that and you obviously enjoy it more when you win so hopefully we can keep winning yeah okay uh, what do you make of the Cheltenham fans at home and away I think the support we've had we've had this season's been great um both home and away um, especially away games. I mean, when I came here on loan, the majority of the majority of the games that I was involved in, although I didn't play, they were they were home games. So I sort of experienced the atmosphere then. But I've obviously seen the away side of it now as well. And and the, when we went to the, the likes of Tranmere and Shrewsbury, there to see obviously the support that we've got. They, they'll they'll follow us all over the country in these games. So no, it's been great. Okay. Uh, who do you think has been the most influential person in your entire career as a footballer? Um, there have been a lot of people. Um, there have been a lot of people along the way who've sort of helped me out and given me advice and things like that. But I'd say, without a doubt, it would be my dad who's done the most for me. He sort of pushed me from an early age to to try and pursue the jeep, pursue the dream of being a footballer. He had um, he he was from what I've told what I've been told he wasn't a bad footballer <laughs> in his time as well. Although he didn't quite make it, so he's always wanted me to do it, and um, he's always been there to to help me and, and give me advice and also. Tell me when I've not done things right as well, so yeah. I'd say it would definitely be him. Okay, is it is it Demon or Damon? It's Damon. It's Damon. spelt Demon, but pronounced Damon. Right. Yeah, okay. I've been told I should drop the E, but I've not got round to it. <laughs> okay, uh, is there are there any defenders that you based your career your, your game on? You know, top level players that you tried to base your game on? Yeah, I mean, um, the, I, I've always looked up to sort of players, that, and I think the the player that I like the most who plays in my position would be. Gerard Piquet for for Barcelona, him or Sergio Ramos. I know they're obviously playing in Spain, and it's a bit more, it's a bit different to the to the Premier League. But I've always liked football in playing centre halves, so one of those two is sort of I look at those and try and replicate what they do. Okay, um, who's quicker, you or Troy? 
<laughs> um, I'm more of a long distance runner, so I, um, speed isn't really my isn't really my forte. But I know it. I know it'll annoy Troy. Annoy Troy if I say that it's me. So I'm gonna have to say me. <laughs> okay. Who do you think's the fastest at the club? Uh, Craig. Uh, what would you say is your, are your biggest strengths and weaknesses as a defender? Um, I think my strengths, I think, like I said, in terms of passing it, I like getting on the ball and, and starting play from the back, um, and I'm not afraid to do that. I think that's one of my biggest strengths is, is being able to play it out, and um, weaknesses, I think I need to, especially f- for this league, I need to make sure that I'm, I'm, I'm bigger and stronger to be able to deal with the likes of Akinfema or someone like that who's going to pose a physical threat. Um, so I'd say I need to I need to work on that part of my game. Okay. Um, who's the toughest player you've come up against? Um, in terms of physical size, I'd say Akin Fenwer, just because of <laughs> I don't yeah. think there's anyone quite <laughs> like him. Um, and then in terms of in terms of just movement and an all round play, I played against Arsenal when I was up at Birmingham. I played against Oxlade Chamberlain, and he was he was sort of on a different level. So I'd yeah. say him. Okay. Uh, what's what's the best moment and the worst moment of your career so far? Um, well, the two I, I'd say the two best moments has been making my debut down at, with with Cheltenham. First one being Brighton away, uh, and then and then my league debut with um, against Wimbledon. Luckily, my family were at both games, so it sort of made it a bit more special that they've always given me that support from an early age to to try and be a footballer. So for them to be there as well made it a lot more special. Um, and I haven't really had too many too many bad points in my career in terms of playing wise so I'd say just what everyone goes through really when you when you get let go from a club and you then obviously have to try and find another one it, it's not a nice position to be in um, so I'd say that's probably the worst the worst the worst point but luckily I've, I've been able to bounce back from it and, and go to another club so yeah okay um, what's your favorite film uh, favorite film um, I don't know I'm quite, I'm quite like quite a lot of films um, I'd say probably, I'd say either Coach Carter or Remember the Titans. Both sporting related. Yeah. Uh, favorite book? I know you're reading a book at the moment on the uh, away yeah. coach, aren't you? Um, favorite book? I used to read quite a lot of autobiographies, just in terms of like anything to do with well, mainly football. Um, but now I've sort of yeah, I've started branching out into detective novels and things like that and uh, I'm, I'm really into that at the minute so um, I'd say one of the ones one of the detective books that I've read there's sort of a series of them that I'm reading at the minute so I'd say yeah. one of those Okay. Uh, favourite holiday destination? Um, probably say Dubai it's, yeah it's, it's crazy <laughs> over there but yeah no it's, it's, it's nice Okay. And the final one Jack what's the, what's the funniest thing you've seen happen in a game is there any comedy moments that you can remember from your career so far? Um, put me on the spot with this one. Or funniest prank played by a player. Um, funniest pr- uh, it, it would probably just be that I've been involved in a game where someone's someone's got down on the knees behind a player and and the other players fallen back over him or something like that. Just something silly that uh, it's quite it's quite strange. Although football is a serious game, there are there are quite a lot of sort of things that go on during the game between players that, that, that fans might not necessarily see that the players pick up on. So yeah, there have been a few of those, but yeah. I'd say it's probably one yeah. something like that, yeah. Okay. Brilliant. Cheers Jack. Damon. Cheers, Cheers. yeah. <laughs>